What is up guys, Feed the Shark back here once again and today we're going to be playing some Championship Callista in the bot lane as an AD carry. We're going to pick up our uh, Doran's Blade, one potion and one trinket and then get to a bot lane. Before I show off the skin here, we're going to be um, let me just making the teams all straightened up here and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be a, alright, it's going to be a fun game boys. Anyways, um, so... Those are team comps for today. We're going to show off this skin right here. Um, it's 975 RP celebrating the championship, you know, worlds, whatever. Um, LCS if you watch esports and whatnot. But yeah, here it is. So here's the animations for it right here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. The souls are blue. So all these are relatively the same since it does cost only 975 RP. Um, and yeah, so there's a dance. There's a laugh, and what I like the best about it is obviously your animations and stuff. And then here's the back animation. That's freaking epic. That's actually epic. See that? But we're not actually going to back, obviously, because we don't want to back. But, um, yeah, so best back animation <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, this skin's actually so nice. Um, so, anyways, we got actually, like, this guy had just... I don't know. I, he, he picked a list up before me, but I called ADC. Um, so I asked him if I could go ADC, and he's like, and I told him I was recording. He's like, oh, you too? And I guess he has a channel or something. I don't really know what channel it is because I, I don't know. I tried searching that name up, his username on YouTube. Nothing came up, so maybe his channel goes by a different name. But, um, yeah, so we're going to start with our E here. Um, starting E. Uh, and we'll see if we can snowball this lane. Um, I like to get... Pretty snowballed as Callista. Last game I played, they had a 19 and 1 Yasuo, and I really did like I was 8 and 2, 8 and 0. Had I not, you know, just died a couple times uh, at the end, towards the end there, because you know the Yasuo was so fat and whatnot. Um, but I did a, a bunch of really nice plays uh, where I like kited. I remember um, Rumble was like trying to dive me or something, and I just kited him super hard, and then I ended up picking up the kill, and then I kited uh, Rumble as well as Gangplank. They had a Gangplank jungle top end up killing them both so I did like a bunch of really cool plays and I thought it was a good game on my part but like my team fed so badly um, and I had Darius support so I really felt like it was not the best game to upload so I just decided not to upload it um, but it looks like we are going to be up against a bard and I actually missed that creep but a bard and the bard is trying to get some auto attack harass on me um, we're up against a bard and Callista is what I meant to say <laughs> um, kind of stuttered a bit there but we're picking up a Q next the W might have been better for the you know you get that percentage health damage um, done of their max health I mean um, which is obviously good but you know I think Q is much better it looks like Echo actually going to be going ahead and picking up first blood oh my fucking god I hate Echo we're getting some auto attacker ass All right. unfortunately Leona took W um, second which I guess is good for all ins but um, at the same time we didn't really pick up anything from that uh, because she didn't have her second stun she kind of just ran up and obviously Zenith blade and then just did nothing after that but that's fine um we'll just try to see us here we'll we'll make it relatively safe all right i actually got stunned up so that kind of sucks i don't know maybe able to pick up a kill yeah i'm actually able to pick up a kill i don't think he realized how much my rend would have done um at the end there so it looks like she's trying to get this minion or one of these with their relic <laughs> all right that's cool all right so we have our w now and that's definitely going to help us out in our damage it looks like she is trying to go in but the zenith plane actually not landing um, but that is just fine. We can just farm and at this point we can just zone her out. Okay, the exhaust is actually coming down, burning her flash. Um, definitely take that as a trade because that's obviously a cooldown. That's five minutes for a cooldown. I believe, it, I don't know how long exhaust is, but I'd imagine probably like three minutes. I don't really pay attention, especially to uh, summoner spells that I don't really run. Because I usually only run exhaust if I'm going up against a lane like... Maybe I'm like a Zier going up against a Yasuo or something that you'd want to exhaust at in the moment. Looks like Quinn actually going to be able to pick up a kill on the Master E right there. Definitely a good job. I'm going to queue through that minion and watch out here to want to get queued by that bard. Like I, you know, you're going to bind. Oh yeah, I forgot to bind. Sorry. <laughs> I actually totally forgot that Callista bind is a thing. <laughs> wow, that, that's, that, that sucks. I was going to do percentage damage and I, and I just didn't. Because I just binded her now instead. Alright, that's cool. Um, but we do have them binded now. Or do we have her binded? Uh, freaking Leona, not them. Um, which is going to help out our damage, obviously. Because now we're doing the percentage max health damage. Her Zenith Blade actually not going to be able to do anything right there. Um, but that is A-OK. -okay. 
because this lane is pretty passive right now. Like Bard's not really landing anything, neither is Leona. Um, and I am one kill ahead. It'd be nice if I could get my BF sword my first back. That would really give me the spike I need to like steamroll this lane. Um, so if we could get that rolling, it'd be good. But yeah, I was. She asked if I was gonna bind the jungler, but I definitely not. And I I just not bind a Yi. Why did I bind a Yi? Yi's are really like usually if you're gonna be saving your bind as Callista to bind maybe someone other than your support, um, it'd be for a tank like a tank champion like maybe you have a you have a Sejuani jungler or something. Even though Sejuani is not really a good example because he's out of the meta right now, but maybe even a Nautilus or you know someone like that or a Maokai, someone tanky that could just go in their face when you just ult them. But in this in this situation, there really needs to. Okay, so I can see us pretty easy. Oh, I messed that one up. All right, I'm just gonna rend that. So I picked that up. I'm actually one CS up on her, um, which is not really marginal, but it's definitely still something. Looks like Master is actually picking up a kill right there. I'm gonna be landing that. Zen and the Blade actually gonna be landing, and we'll see if we can do something here. I'm actually gonna be doing that and kill her or kill it right there. Bard, I guess, is an it. I'm gonna heal right here, and we'll see if we can pick up a kill on Callista right here. There we go, a double kill for me. I didn't, I wasn't like sure if my, um, if my like rend was actually gonna pop right there and do enough damage for the killing blow, but it did, it did do it. So my flash was well worth it there in that situation. Now, if we can, we should probably push this wave. Um, needless to say, we're doing it pretty well. I mean, we're not missing too many minions. There we go, nice. Um, then nobody gives a fuck about you or even cares if you start crying. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I guess this master or this uh, Yas was a bit butthurt considering he has <laughs> a measly 9 farms 7 minutes into the game. Um, you know, I, I personally think that he has a pretty easy matchup. Alright, so we're, we're just going to skip boots all, all together and just go straight for the Vamp Scepter instead. But I personally think that he is quite a... I mean, what's... what's I mean, is he... Just kill him. <laughs> Just kill him, or he's gonna die to minions or something. I get. I, is he gonna? Is he actually gonna die to minions? <laughs> he ulted back. Just. Oh my god. <laughs> that that's a golden moment. Golden age. Age. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I have no clue what mass. Oh, what yeah, so is doing. Um. All right. So we're just gonna stay back a little bit because Leona isn't in, isn't in the lane quite yet. We're just going to queue through those. There we go. Get a spear on her as well. So that's definitely good. We have our ultimate now. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more damage considering we have our BS Sword and Vamp Scepter for the for the sustain. And and a little bit of damage obviously because Vamp Scepter isn't just lifesteal. No item in the game is just lifesteal. So yeah. Alright that's going to be going on me. But it's not going to be... St Actually that, I don't, that didn't even hit me. Never mind. What am I saying? That's not going to be going on me. Alright so... Oh she got that. It's cool. She had Relic. Don't really mind. Looks like Master Yi actually may be coming bot. Um, and when you're reconnecting, you get fucking BM because the enemy echo wasted all. <laughs> Dude, he just literally ult like he backed and then he ulted back to his clone, and then uh, just queued. Like, come on, barely even did anything. And then he still died. It's not his fault. You took so much damage from minions, dude. It is his fault he queued, but you took all the damage uh, needed to die in that situation. All right, we'll get this. Wait for this to get low. Pick that up as well. But yeah, I actually feel like I'm a decent Callista player. Although last game I played pretty sloppy in the early early like lane. I missed a lot of creeps. Um, just because Callista's auto attack animation is really, really weird when you don't have attack speed. Because it's kind of like a two-step process. Like you jump back and you auto and you know you do you do all the fun Callista stuff. Alright, I'm going to actually there we go. pop my Q right there on him. She's actually going to be going in successfully landing that. And unfortunately I couldn't pick up that kill which kind of sucks but that's cool we'll just get these creeps and I guess I could have ulted Leona but she, at that point she already went like all in so I didn't really want to ult um, considering Leona had no abilities to spare and whatnot wasn't really a smart thing to do alright so we'll do that and then oh Master Yi's getting fed that's a no no why is Master Yi getting fed that can't happen alright so I'll leave, that means this echo just has to take advantage of his uh his lane opponent, opponent, which it looks like he is doing actually. Right, so she's gonna be tanking turret, and I'm all right. I guess Bard just decided to save us. Okay, you can go in there, girl. There we go. I'm gonna pick that up and see if I can pick this kill up as well. 
There we go. Double kill for me. Can I get out? No. Nope. Turret's gonna turret's gonna give me the last blow. Um, unfortunately, wait. Who got? The, okay, never mind. I saw Callista pop up here and double kill, and I'm like, Callista didn't just get a double kill, did she? Um, but no, she didn't. That was actually me, and then obviously Callista got the shutdown, which is kind of unfortunate because I thought um I thought Bard would have you know like at least done some damage to me where to the point where, like where he would get uh the kill instead of Callista, but I mean that's fine. That bar, the bar juke. So yeah, he just he just fucking put his um magic, which I don't know. I don't know if I would have won that fight if I actually took his journey through there and then maybe um cut it out this way while killing Bard, but I don't know. We are definitely ahead at this point. We have Bloodthirster over Kliss. Says probably she's gonna be going for another Doran's Blade. We'll see when she pops into lane. That or a um, Tier One Boots, because besides that, she doesn't have too much gold income um, under her belt. You know because. She's just been zoned out most of the time. Alright, so we'll let her get that. And this guy's getting executed towers. I don't know what he's doing. Rengar's getting a bit a, get, a bit angry, I guess. Uh, which, I don't know, is understandable. But it is a PBE, so people do tend to have connection issues and whatnot. Um, which is just fine. And, okay. Alright, what is happening? Alright, Echo picked up the return kill. And probably going to be picking up... Yeah, he's going to be get the double kill on Bard. Maybe? Okay. He, he, he ignited for the BM. Because why not? Why don't you want to be him? I really would like a red buff. Like a red buff would be so prime right here. Since I'm already ahead. Um, it would just be really good. It would be helpful, you know? It would just be helpful. But thanks a lot for the support on my recent videos. Like especially my Renekton video. Oh, whoa, whoa, girl. Alright, there we go. The sun's actually going in. And I just, for some odd reason, wasted my rend. I'm going to have to flash to get that kill. Wait, no, I, I could have just rended. I thought I wasted my rend for some reason. I pressed E. Right before going in, so I thought my I wasted my rend and the cooldown didn't revert. Um, but apparently I did it on the low minion that was just about to die, so the cooldown reset. So I thought I had to flash, which is kind of um, my fault for not looking at cooldowns and whatnot, not keeping track of them. So I actually let the let the turret. Okay, whoa, Master, you're doing a lot of damage, dude. There we go. I'm just gonna alter, and she can go back in on him if he, she wants, but I don't think she wants to. That Master is pretty fed if I... Yeah, he's 4 and 3, so he's pretty strong. He's not the strongest, but he's definitely uh, got a couple kills under his belt, so he'll, he'll be doing a lot of damage, you know? He'll be doing a lot of damage. All right, if you if she wants to go in on him. There we go. I'm going to kill him, and I don't think I'm going to be able to kill Master E. Although, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna be going into third. There we go. All right. That was actually really scary. I had to pop my heal there, or else I would have died. Because the alpha strike, when I pressed E to rend him, I was about to say to, rend <laughs> to render him. Going to be rendering this video after this uh, recording, but look at that back animation again. Freaking awesome. I I kind of had a feeling, and I think it got leaked on Reddit, that Callista was going to be a championship. Um, the championship champion or skin this year, um, which it looks like she is. And Riot Socrates also confirmed that the next, um, I think that's his name, Riot Socrates, um, that the next... Victoria's skin as well is going to be an, a marksman an ADC so people are speculating maybe Sivir, Kogma, champions that had like a lot of impact this this season more so Sivir than anything like I think Sivir is going to be it um, but Kogma probably not because Kogma didn't get played too much this season maybe earlier on in season 5 but he didn't get really too much play our right, Yasuo is just running into turret and Mastery just picked up a double kill he he's actually going to get fed so even with um with Yasuo doing what he's doing, I mean, he's not worth too much gold, so it doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, they, they got to calm down with uh, Master Yi getting fed because Master Yi, he did a lot of damage to me. He definitely did a lot of damage to me when he came into my lane. So I am still fearful for him, you know. All right, so Kalista's is going to be in that bush pretty afraid at this point. I mean, all right, I'm just going to rend that. And just get this. So we have quite a bit of attack speed now as well. And our, their Kalista is level 7. I could very well alt um, Leona whenever she gets into range. I'm just going to say that. Okay, she can just go in now. There we go. And that's going to be an easy kill for me. And she's going to be tanking the turret. Look at that legendary Kalista baby. Alright, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. I just alted her in and then she, she had the reaction time to go in after after the fact so that's good all right so let's just do some damage to his turret he's gonna be doing that i'm just gonna dodge it pretty easy to dodge things with Callista. that's the one thing i like about her um you're pretty much 
you're still vulnerable by no means you're ever like not vulnerable but um, you're a lot less vulnerable uh, than other ADCs so let's see if we can pick this up for ourselves here gonna Q and and boom there we go all right so we got that I'm not actually gonna clear that buff although we are ahead to the point where clearing that would probably be smart because we could get the timer on it and then just, oh I accidentally clicked my E okay what happened are E disconnected are you DC now what's happening yeah our um <laughs> our Quinn's our Quinn's not doing bad or not doing good at all like she just keeps overextending and dying so that kind of sucks all right let me trade this in or what am I doing let me just there we go get my scrying orb now and I'm actually high enough to upgrade it so I'm just gonna do that as well just so I can get some vision um you would have lost that fight anyway <laughs> gotta stop over extend extending yeah um is our master E back our E is AFK now too so E uh, this is this is a good way to show a skin spotlight yeah um as you guys know like fans of my channel I do do um I do do I do do videos on new skins um, and make full game commentaries rather than just spotlighting them like every other channel under the sun okay I thought I rendered I definitely killed some minions with my rend so I was kind of glitchy that didn't uh, reset right there and I don't think I used my W once this game so let's show you that guys that uh, that W right there so that's a championship W it turned back pretty quickly so there's not much I can really show you but that is what it is all right so um all right, we'll try to we'll try to help out Quinn, but she's gonna be dying here most likely. They have a they have a Rengar. <laughs> that's that's new. All right, I'm just gonna alter in. There we go. He should be dead and nice. So where's Master Yet, boys? Is he doing dragon? Please tell me, Matt. Yep, he is doing dragon. All right, connect. Like I don't like I don't get it. I should have just attacked dragon, but he had smite so. I knew he was going to smite it, but I was trying to get to him, but he was kiting around like the dragon, so it was pretty impossible to do so. Alright, so is Calista here still? Is she running away? Alright, you got a stun on us, but I'm not really afraid of that. Let's throw our W out. I was, I was going to chase that freaking ghost. He's kind of, he's kind of melt mentally retarded. Alright, man. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. <laughs> Getting a bit too angry over League of Legends, boys. Alright, so I think... I don't really know like uh, what items maybe like infinity edge now I'm thinking infinity edge but I don't know um, because blade the rune king would help me get away from them but I really don't like building extra attack speed okay so she actually did get that but she didn't really get the stun right after so not much I could really do for follow-up right there but we gotta watch out here though because Rengar I mean Rengar could very well just be come out of nowhere I'm just gonna pop that right there just so I was have a ward right there and please don't why why did you get caught in that thing gave them vision all right let's just get this now too there's a free 20 gold for us even though Leona's freaking vision eyes now all right so let's try to get some of these auto attacks there we go and that's gonna be a kill I feel like I, oh man I feel like flashing so badly dude all right there we go double kill for me and I'm actually gonna heal Leona because she she got she's still gonna die <laughs> she's still gonna die I tried to heal her but didn't work out that's fine we still have a red buff for a small period of time so we are able to kite out pretty much er anyone that comes close to us there we go uh, so we got a bunch of damage on Rengar right there and Quinn dying once again I mean she she got herself a lead and then she just kind of just threw it away by staying top um, for the entire game after that uh, so if our red buff comes up and all right I don't want to get stunned right there but yeah when our red buff comes up if no one's taking it I'm definitely gonna take advantage and take it I'm just gonna try to get this turret so I can do some stuff with my boy oh whoa, okay whoa I'm gonna have to rend him so he stays slow dude I just I just went into the wrong crowd right there definitely went into the wrong crowd all right if he if he goes in any deeper he's gonna be dead because Master is getting a bit ahead of himself, you know, trying to go behind us and stuff too. Can Please, Rend! <laughs> I'm trying to get in range for that, because that would have killed him. Had my Rend actually went off. Definitely would have killed him. Alright, so, yeah, he's here. Uh, 
not much I can do to be honest, but we can we can push these minions. I mean, all right. I guess Leona's tanking turret and stuff too. Oh whoa, Leona, you're going in deep. I, I can just ult you. All right, there we go. I got the assist, and I'm tanking turret a little bit here too. Second, whoa, turret range, please. What the hell? All right, can, can we get him? Or are we just aimlessly tanking turret right at this point? I swear this is gonna be like a triple kill for Rengar or something. Something dumb. Alright, so let's get these. And let's just clear these minions, dude. There we go. So we got all those. Now we can get this inhib. <laughs> and Quinn again chasing super super far. I don't know why, but uh seems to be your hobby or something. Quinn the chaser. I think that's a new champion. Alright, so we'll get that inhib right there for ourselves. And I'm probably dead. I'm most likely dead. And I got exhausted too, so yeah, so I'm just gonna die. There's not not much I can do when I'm exhausted, especially as Kalista, because you you have that mechanic to you where you hop around and you are annoying, but once you get exhausted, that that pretty much is not even a thing. Like it's just not even there. Um But fortunately for us, Dragon is not up for another two minutes, so Yi is actually not gonna be able to get that. Um so I man, like I don't know. I'm feeling last whisper, but they're not really building armor. So I don't think I need that. Um, so I think I'm just going to go for IE, to be honest. And f there, please. There we go. All right, so I'm actually a couple, couple under gold off, which is kind of uh, sucky for me. But let me get my Fuhrer boots. And uh, my red buff's up as well now. So I'm going to hop on over to get that. I'm going uh, to get red. Hold up. Hold up, boys. Um, because red buff is definitely going to help me out, especially with Kalista, red buff is like key since, um, you, you tend to build rune ends on Kalista, um, usually you want to rush it, but obviously this game I got a bit ahead, so I, I went for the BT rush instead, but had I not went ahead, had I not got ahead, I mean, um, I would have rushed the good old rune ends, but like I said, I did get ahead, alright, let's see if we can, nice, so we have some vision on that, I, no, that was a, that was a wolf spirit. I don't want to get caught out here, so I definitely have to be careful. Um, but I am... Okay, let me just get this while I'm walking by. While I'm getting the Scuttle Crab. Okay, I'm going to run that. And Rango's here. If he baits Rangar to where I am. Although he can easily 1v1 Rangar, so I don't think Rangar is going to be stupid enough to do that. And Quinn's dying once again. Uh, so, <laughs> it, it seems like that's just that's just routine now. Quinn just goes top to die. I mean, she's 4 or 9 at this point, so... Let's be real. And we have an AFK Yi. But at this point, our Echo's so fed that it doesn't really matter um, what's going wrong with our team. So, yeah. Echo's just 15 and 4. I'm 13 and 2. So, we can just do tons of stuff. Oh, whoa. Alright, I can just get a kill right there. Shot down, actually. So, it's going to definitely help my gold out. And now I can get my... I should be able to get my Infinity Edge. Yeah, I do have enough gold. Ah, oh, man. This inhib still a bit longer to spawn. I still have my ultimate, but at this point, I don't think it's uh, very smart to use my ult. There we go. Get that shut down, and I'm actually going to alt her now and get... Oh, what? I thought I was out of range of that. There we go. Double kill for me. I thought I was out of range of ball... ball balls ult. <laughs> I thought I was out of range of bard's ult, but apparently not. Oh, whoa. Callista, you're going to... Or freaking Leona you're going too deep all right I'm going too deep now I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here actually I, pr I could probably I oh, don't know I, I don't know how I feel about 2v1ing but I feel like I maybe could especially because Rengar Rengar is not the best uh, and he just missed that all right I could easily kite him out and that's gonna be a kill for me nice I just pretty much just dodged his uh I kind of misclipped misclipped misclicked there um, because I don't use the attack move mechanic alright this is where I fucked up though because I stayed for E2 to be up obviously and I didn't look at spawn timers so I kind of fucked up but that's fine we do have our infinity edge now and I think we should probably go for like here's the thing I kind of want to go Merkcep or uh, QSS because that's kind of like standard um, but they don't have enough, C uh, enough, C C S enough CC to warrant me going for that Especially with, um, you know, I mean, sure they have Yasuo. Yasuo's AFK at this point, though. So he's not really into play, right? And then they have Bard as well. But Bard CC is not really effective against me. Especially when I have Leona to peel for me for most of the fight. And Echo is going to be going ham right here. Pretty much deleting the Yi. 
Unfortunately, though. Oh, Quinn's actually going to come in for the cleanup, and I think she's going to die because she was tanking turret. Yep. <laughs> she died. She definitely died. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to go for the early game or early GA here um, because I feel like it'd be useful, especially when I keep dying to one champion, that being Master E, obviously. Um, it's getting pretty obnoxious just always dying to him, so I'm just definitely going to go for uh, an early game GA. Although Randwins would, Randwins would also be... Uh, a smart choice, a smart item choice. I mean, he's not building crit, so it wouldn't be effective in, in terms of denying him crit damage, but it would definitely give me some armor and whatnot to tank up. So yeah, I really think that you shouldn't be scared anymore to build Randuins. Randuins like, was an item you were kind of scared to build as an ADC before, um, uh, as opposed to like maybe Mer uh, Mercurial Scepter or Mercur Mercurial Scimitar. Um, I think that's what it's called, QSS. Um, builds from or builds yeah builds from QSS um, in, ter in terms of um, utility that was always much better to build on an ADC rather than Randuin's because Randuin's only provides a slow and then a bunch of armor and health whereas uh, Mercurial Scimitar would just get you out of CC fights and whatnot so it just it just be overall much more useful usually but with that being said now since um, since Randuin's now denies crit damage a lot of the time um, you're going to be 1v1ing their ADC, especially towards the late game. Like, if you're going for picks or split pushing, um, you're going to be 1v1ing. Okay, she, okay, you got scared there. We definitely did end this game, though, quickly, because uh, I, I see this I see this going badly, especially with our Quinn. Quinn's definitely uh, not the smartest, not the smartest of, uh, of people, so. All right, so I, I have a feeling Rengar is actually, I'm just going to stay in the circle, because I feel like I'm, I'm defend, I'm, you know. Okay, Rengar is definitely trying to delete someone. There we go, I can just do that, but I'm I'm gonna be dead here. Yep, I'm gonna be dead. And Master E's gonna get that double kill. Quinn needs to group with us inst instead of just doing this. Quinn, can you group, please, please. <laughs> like, like, we're just we're literally useless. Please, dude. We need to end. We have an AFK. Like, sure, they have an AFK too, and it's Yasuo. Yeah, exactly. But Yi is shitting on us. Like, if we don't if we don't group and close out this game, this game's going to end really quickly, and you'll see how we can throw this game. Um, but with that being said, if, if uh, what's it called, Quinn just decides to group with us, it'd be... You know what, screw it, I'm going to go for home guards instead, because I feel like Fury Boots aren't really helping me, and they're fucking gonna start demolishing our base so i feel like i need to get out faster i'm gonna need to learn yeah yeah that's true leona does need to stack all of her cc onto ye <laughs> you kept going top to feed him <laughs> like let's be real if i'm being real right now if i'm being honest <laughs> i'm just gonna say some real shit you know like quinn Quinn, out of everyone, is the one asking, how did Yi get fed? <laughs> out of everyone on this team, Quinn is the one that's inquiring why Yi is fed. When she's the one that kept going top constantly, constantly, constantly and getting caught out. And, you know, proven proven, uh, proven by what just happened. I mean, she just got caught out in bot lane again. I mean, sure, it wasn't to Yi, uh, but definitely did get caught out, so... All right, so if we, if we, yeah, okay, so that should be GG, since he's not, he is now dead, and if we get a couple, a couple more picks, um, it it definitely be the end of the game right here. All right, we can go ahead and get this other inhib though, and pretty easily I think as well. I mean, they don't really have anyone to contest with since he is like dead now. So okay, let's let's just go, let's go, let's power push. All right, so actually Rengar is gonna be dead here too, and. I'm just going to ult Leona as soon as this happens to just secure that, secure bar just staying there. And right, I'm still tanking the turret, but that's cool. That is going to be the end of this game, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy. I'm sorry the game dragged out a bit. Our Callisto is kind of being, you know, well, okay. What? Our, I don't know what this lag was. Like, literally only happens on the PB. It's fucking obnoxious. At the end of the game, it just decides it just wants to stop working. Um... But yeah, anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. I'm sorry about being a bit salty towards the, you know, just prior to a little bit, a little bit um, back there, you know, being a bit salty to Quinn. 
But it's kind of understandable frustration because Quinn just kept going under like uh, top and just dying over and over and over again with no real goal um, besides to split push that lane. But she was not successful every single time she kept going top and feeding Yi. So, and then she had that had the audacity to ask, "Why did Yi get so powerful?" I mean, when you feed a Yi, he's gonna get powerful. He's gonna get items. He's gonna get gold, and he's gonna start like snowballing the fucking game. So, you know, that's just my frustration released. Hopefully you guys feel me when I'm saying that. You guys all, all probably know how a fed ye is. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go off my rant here. If you guys want to check out my runes and masteries, please do. They will be in the description as well as my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is my first video that you've watched um, and you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. It will be down below as well as in the annotations of the outro. So feel free to do that. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to close out the video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. I'll see you guys in my next video.